Hi, this is Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches, and today I wanted to talk about yarn winders. Um, I would say for the first couple years I crocheted, I did not have any yarn winder. And then I bought this from Hobby Lobby for $29.99, and here it is on my table. Um, I do not like it. Um, it gets the job done if you want to make tiny little cakes. So if you're gonna crochet, if you're gonna wind up yarn, I have these little skeins here to show you. Um, I got these at Walmart last year. They were 25 cents each. They're DIY yarns. It's all acrylic, nothing fancy, 65 yards, 30 grams. This will make a cake. That's about how much this one will actually cake. So I guess if you have a little bit of yarn, you can use this one. Um, it, it can go pretty fast. It doesn't get tangled up very much. I thought I, th I thought I would show you while I'm talking. It has a how it works a little bit here. Um, I would say though that I haven't used it in so long I don't really remember how to use it. Isn't that crazy? Um, so yeah, you just tuck it right here. There's a little slit and you just twist the yarn. There it is. It works fine this way. I would say it's shaky and it just makes a little cake. It's never broken on me, but I think my main complaint with it is that I feel like it's going to break while I'm spinning it <laughs> and it doesn't make giant cakes, just really little cakes. I'm trying to cake this whole thing before you, before the video is done. So this is how, how it looks. Um, like I said, this was $29.99 at Hobby Lobby. The brand is Yarnology. After you've spun it, I like to take this and tuck it, take the tail. I don't know if you can see it right there. I tuck it under one of these little edges. Or if you're fancy, you can use a bobby pin or a hair clip. And then... I unclip, like I said, there's a little slot here. I pull out this other yarn, I kind of tuck it in the middle. If you want to be really fancy, before you slide it off, you can tuck the wrapper of the yarn right in there. And this is about the size cake that it makes. You can actually see that it's getting sloppy because this is getting too big for the yarn winder. So that is the Yarnology. I'll take it off here. Um, it clamps onto the table, so you need to have a table base. It clamps on to the edge of your table. You clamp that on, you slide that in, and this is what it looks like. It makes little tiny cakes. This is the part that you weave it through. This is the little slit that I'm talking about that you poke the end of the yarn in. Now, for my birthday, my 38th birthday, I got this beautiful Stanwood um, yarn winder. I would say, and I don't know for a complete fact, that I think based on Amazon and other sites I've seen, these are $50 or more, $50, $69. But, as I'm like eyeing up, I didn't do a very good job of choosing the, my yarn ahead of time. I'm eyeing up my yarn looking for something to make a cake out of that won't get too tangled because sometimes you know when you like dig around in here to try to find your center pole this well I can show you this is a nice big cake that I made with my yarn winder um, in comparison those are the sizes and this one was two full skeins of I Love This Yarn from, from Hobby Lobby. That is how big, and again, this is your comparison side. You can see how it wraps it versus how this one kind of swirls it. So, I mean, this Stanwood can make a really big cake of yarn. Oh, you know what? I think I have something in here. I have a Simply Soft. So... I'm not going to, I'll pull out my yarn barf. <laughs> For this one here, to use this yarn winder, 
you need to swirl it around this eye. It's like a spring right here. You poke it into this hole. And then on top of here are two slits, just like I showed you in that other one, that you lay your yarn across. Okay? Now with, for this kind of yarn winder, I like to hold my yarn with my hand. Now, this one does sound loud. I wonder how it is in the video. But I'm going to be honest, it's not shaking, my table's not vibrating, the, the whole thing is just, I mean this thing shakes a little bit, but I think that's because how I have my yarn. And it will cake pretty quickly my full skein of Karen Simply Soft. I'm going to pause the video because it's getting long <laughs> and I will show you when it's done. Okay, so as you can see, this cake is getting much bigger. This is going to be a full skein. As you can see, my skein is right here under my arm. It's getting kind of floppy because I did a center pull. And this thing just keeps on going. There's no problem. I don't think I probably have to hold the yarn out, but I just do. That's just how I like to do it. You do, every once in a while, get a little bit of a knot in your yarn, um, depending on how um, how you're holding it. Now I'm going to hold the other end and pull from here. I'm going to pause and get going. Okay, so I finished it up. Again, just like with the other yarn winder, I like to tuck in my edge. Not too deep, but so I can see it. And like I was saying with the other one, if you want to keep your wrapper with, I pull out this Part that I just tucked it in. I kind of hold the wrapper right where the cone is. And you can even do that with this one. Just hold it right like that. And then I just slide it off. There you can see the wrapper's in the middle. And um, so you can either center pull with this cake or you can side pull. And these are the sizes of the two cakes. Like I said, this is just one skein and this is one of those little ones. And I've gotten, if you could, like I was saying before, two skeins of yarn in one cake with this big standwood. This little Hobby Lobby one will just not do more, would not even do a full skein of like Simply Soft Red Heart. Um, but I guess it depends which one of these you would buy, depending on why you're caking your yarn. If you are someone that um, goes to the yarn shops and buys the hanks of yarn, you are going to want a yarn winder because they're, you know, they're not in a skein for you. You've got, if you see hanks or big circles that have been twisted and knotted. I don't have a hank laying around to show you what they look like. Um, but if you're someone that uses from the center pole or the outer pole from a skein and just want to cake your leftovers, that's perfect. You use a blanket, you bought 10 skeins of yarn, you only end up using half of your last skein, you can make a little cake, and then I would say this Hobby Lobby one is just going to be perfect for you if you're using less than a skein. But if, if you want to, you know, buy the, the fancier yarns, you're also going to need to buy a Swift, which I do not have. And a Swift attaches right to this base. I don't know if you can see it. Doo -doo -doo. It attaches right there. It comes up. It looks kind of like a big accordion, and the hank goes around it, and it spins in the air as you wind. Um, the only other reason I would say you might would want to have a, a winder, and maybe the bigger one, is if you want to make your own multicolored cakes. So you can yourself... Get a few colors together, maybe a couple of these DIYs, these little ones, and maybe make your own. This would be a horrible color combo, but you know, wrap the purple, then hook on the, uh, the gray, wrap the gray, and you could make your own multicolored cakes. If you have a bunch of yarn at home already, maybe a bunch of Red Heart, and you want to make one of these kind of a cakes, you could do that yourself with one of these. And that way, um, you know, it puts it together, it's all together, you're not carrying around five or six different skeins. 
And because this is so big, you can put together two or three skeins of yarn. Um, this also, real quick here, attaches the same way that the Hobby Lobby one does. It attaches here, I slide my table right there, you twist it, here is the dial, here are the, grind, or the gears that twist. This part here also hooks on right here, you give it a nice tight. Um, this is what the yarn initially goes through. Here's the spiral that I was talking about. You put the yarn through here, you put the yarn through here, and then you put it through these little slots. So those are the two yarn winders I have. Um, I really wish I would have waited and just purchased a Stanwood from the very beginning. Because a Stanwood, like I said, is very sturdy. I never feel it shake or quiver other than it doing its job. It could do big cakes, little cakes, medium sized cakes. This is a $30 Hobby Lobby yarn winder and it can only do little cakes. Um, and I actually feel bad like trying to resell it to someone. This is the third time I've ever used this little winder. So those, those are my yarn winders. If you're someone who's buying the Hanks, I really do suggest you use this. If you're someone that's just going to wind your leftovers, you could get by with using a Yarnology. This is 30, this is 50 to 70. And that is the information I have about yarn winders. Again, please like and subscribe, share the video, and when we get up to 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a yarn giveaway. Happy crafting!